right, I don't know if I should even be looking at this, let alone contemplating possibly wasting a bunch of time on it. Um, somebody dropped a cylinder head and dented and cracked this piece um, and it was brought, brought along to us with a question oh can we weld it up? yeah I guess we could but whether it's going to be in any kind of shape to be usable afterwards is the is a big question. Um, there's a crack there as well. That's crack that's bent that way, and then that's kind of duh. Hum. A bit of a mug when it comes to doing stuff like this. I'll have a crack at it even when I know that it's really not worth it. Yeah, it's not only bent that away, it's bent that away as well. Slightly, but it's still got a bend in it where that has been knocked. Dear. clean it up and see what we can do. Oh shit. Well that's quite uh, quite brittle. I wonder what kind of alley this is made of. It's got a lot of zinc in it, we won't be able to weld it properly anyway. Oh Well, I don't know how we're going to get on with this. We've got these two pieces. I'll chamfer the edges as much as I well, as much as I really want to go. I need to have something in the middle which is not touched because that's going to be my locating point for when these things go back together. So we've kind of got 
bit of a groove all the way around pretty much not so much along there but we've got it either side front and back and there yeah Right, as per usual, when you get broken broken aluminium castings, it turns out they're not just broken, they're bent and distorted at the same time. So this is even more trickier than I suspected. I managed to find a piece of 50mm uh, diameter. I think this was uh, an exhaust collar or something. It's got thread on it, but it measures 50mm diameter on OD. And that fits really nicely in that side. That is a really good fit in there. And the guys have brought in the parts that fit onto this thing. I don't know what the heck they are. Um, maybe possibly it's a, one's a fuel pump and one's... Oh, I don't know what the hell this is. Um, but at least they're not, there's no bearings in, in the piece that's broken, which I didn't think there was because it's not wide enough. You know, it didn't look to me like there was something running in this, but I thought there might have been an oil seal, in which case it would have been fairly important that it was uh, the right size and shape, but no, it's these, whatever the heck this is. And this has got a connector here which is allows for misalignment. So it could be that the, the finish thing is not that crucial. And this is the other one. And I think this is the one that goes in the broken side. Oops, not there, there. And it's a bit hard to see, but this, this piece is bent from about here. This is actually bent down. It wasn't just broken. It's distorted. I don't know if we can see daylight if we put this piece in here. Yeah, you can just about see the daylight through that. So this, yeah, and if we put a straight edge on here, if we measure that, and I always move these things when I take them out of the piece I'm measuring, yeah, it, it does measure 25 millimeters, half the diameter. Whereas on this side, yeah, I can't get 25 millimeters measuring across there no matter what I do. So this has just been squashed in. It's not just broken, it's distorted. So it's going to need to be machined either before we weld it or afterwards or maybe a bit of both. Another thing is I've I've got this piece, if that's put in there and it's tight together, look at the gap here, this is just, and the angle of this bit, it's just so wrong. Crazy. So I'm really not at all sure what I'm going to well, I don't know. Maybe we can bodge it sufficiently so that they can all get it back together and put the parts on that need to fit. And it'll work. Um, I've put a big groove in this piece and I'm kind of hoping that when I weld this up, if I can weld it, I don't even know if it's weldable yet, that might pull that in, straighten it out, because this, this is bent in. Let's see the daylight in there. doesn't fit at all so yeah it would be nice if this 
Yeah. Right, last time I used this boring head was to bore out an exhaust port and that was 52mm. So, if I wind this in a millimetre, that should then be set to do a 50mm diameter. Right. That's pretty close. Well, in the in that direction. I was aiming to get this about a thou or two under fifty millimeters diameter. I know I shouldn't be mixing uh metric with thousands, but it's kind of how my brain works these days. So, if I now wind that in until that touches, which is easier said than done. Absolutely. I think that's it. So now what I'm thinking is if I flip this piece over, let's get the cutter out of the way first. So, maybe I'll sit that on something. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I can't leave that there. that there because it's going to get in the way of the cutter so now this is way out in that direction but still I think that's just touching. So what's it do here? Almost like to do this by hand. Yep, like that. <laughs> 